Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video, I'll be painting the Warcry Warband, the Scions of the Flame. These hot looking boys and gals are a very interesting warband. There is a beefy dude, some peasants, an actual guy on fire, and a samurai for some reason. I do love this hodgepodge looking group. And a great way to paint fire and object source lighting. Let's get started. I'm going to make great use of my airbrush for this warband. First, to prep the models, I prime them black with Vallejo Black Primer. Make sure to get it in all the nooks and crannies. Now a very important step. I use Vallejo White Primer and aim the airbrush to the flame or light source on the model. Thus, spraying white where natural light would hit the model. Models that don't have a clear light source, I light from the bottom to give them an intimidating looking effect. The guy who is on fire is with this technique the brightest of all models. To further illuminate the flames, I dry brush white scar on all the flames. And areas where the light would hit the model. Now it's time to add all the base coats. Because I'm working with a zenithal highlight of sorts, contrast paints will make this paint job very easy. First, I paint the flash of four models with Dark Oath Flash. The remaining models will have their flash painted with Gulliman Flash. This will add some subtle variation in skin tones. You can of course go nuts here and try all kinds of different skin tones. These models are very detailed and I want all their armor and clothes to have different brown tints. First I paint some random gear with Gore Guntra fur. Armor plates are painted with a mix of Gore Guntra fur and Blood Angel Red. Be careful not to hit any areas you don't want painted. Dark leather is painted with Saigor Brown. I focus mainly on boots, straps and other less interesting bits of the model. I find snake bite leather to work really well as a brass looking non-metallic color. So I paint all the masks and other decorations with this contrast paint. For non-metallic metal, I use Basiliconum Grey as the base coat. Hair and other objects I forgot are painted with Black Templar contrast paint. All the monster hides and wraps I shade with Targor Rage Shade. This dark purple is a nice change for the primarily brown models. With a zenithal highlight, you can paint some cool looking models quite fast with some contrast paint. At this stage, everything should be painted except the flames. I did spill some paint on the flames, but I fixed this with white scar. <laughs> cool. <laughs> fire, 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 fire. Yes, Beavis, indeed. I hold my airbrush very close to the model and I spray a watered down Yendon yellow on the flames. There will be some spillage, but that is a good thing. This will create a glow on the model coming from the light source. This already looks very impressive, if you want to go for a more monochrome looking flame. But I wanted more color variation, so I spray watered down Griffhound orange from the airbrush. I try to only spray the tips of the flames. Again, no problem if there is some overspill. To brighten the flame even more, I paint flesh gets yellow on the raised areas of the flame. 
This can cross a little bit in the orange and red. With Dorn Yellow, I paint the already created highlights on the model to further emphasize them. Let these highlights be your guide as to where to place your final bright spots. All the parts of the model that are now in shadow I find a little bit too boring. So I shade them all with Tyrant Blue to add a nice dark blue hue to the dark areas. And here we have some hot looking models. This was the first time trying something like this with the airbrush and I'm very happy with the result. Next time I might even go for a more stylized version of fire and only use the yellow. That is very striking to me. On to the base. I want to go for some ash gray waste bases. First I dry brush storm vermin fur on the base. Then I dry brush Dawnstone. I make sure to only hit the areas that aren't cast in shadow. I do the same with Celestra Grey. And finally with Ulthan Grey. I mostly focus on any crevices I made because I want to work with some contrast paints here. First, I paint these crevices with Yenden Yellow. The edges I paint with Griffhound Orange. With Dorn Yellow, I highlight any light effects I made and the edges of the crevices. I wanted to use a black crackle paint, but I don't have any. So I mix crackle paint Badlands from Green Subworld with Abaddon Black. I added that on the fire effect on the base to create some quick and dirty lava. Finally, I painted the rim of the base with Corvus Black. And here we have a Fury Warband ready to set some trees on fire in Gur. This was a fun little experiment and in a very short time I was able to put down a good looking warband. Next up I'll be painting another Warcry project. Might be a monster, might be a warband, I am not sure yet. In the meantime be sure to check out my Instagram where I post pictures of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, thanks for watching.